Yeah. I, I don't know. Ask for a skywalk between that apartment building so we could see downtown. No, oh, yeah, there you go. Smell your I did ask him, hey, when y'all build those, can you just build like a mural of what downtown right. looks <laughs> like <laughs> so we can, <laughs> you know, see the fake downtown after y'all take our beautiful view yeah. away from us? Put little twinkly lights so that we Yeah, know. something, yeah. please. No, they've been great. The resident, I, I, I wondered, not to get off track, but I, and, and real quick, I just wondered. When they were building them, I'm like, are they going to hate us? Because some people hate the smell of malt oh, yeah. and stuff. And we haven't gotten any complaints, <laughs> uh, knock on wood. But um, And, and uh, people love having a brewery next door. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, of course, you're walking distance from beer. Yeah. Like, who's gonna, I mean, if, like, even if you don't like beer, yeah. there's still something cool. We, we, got a, exactly. we had a delivery today, and he was blocking the road, and a sweet apartment resident lady was just waiting there. And I went up to her, and I was like, I'm so sorry. And she's like, it's fine. I, I get it. I was like, I'm, I'm going to hurry, I promise. Yeah. She's like, okay, no worries. And she did. She waited. That's fantastic. Yeah. But they've been great. Now, this one might be a little hard. Uh, top three favorite beers you guys have ever made? Top three. Um, I'll do one that we have. Hazy Cat okay. is, is my top. I love Hazy Cat. I've gotten into New England the past two or three years um my favorite style um so hazy cat um and then number two oh man that's so tough belgian warrior is in the top three for sure and that's an old uh an old recipe we did and only like we did like one and it was kegs only and it was like a it was like kind of our first artist series type type beer because we tied in a like mythical story with it and we still want to it's a whole series based off of a character named wrath okay and he's like a warrior and he's crazy looking and he goes through these battles and these trials and tribulations and my good friend uh micah canard he writes all the stories for it and Ooh. so each beer has a story. And the first one was Belgian Warrior. And it, it introduced you to Wrath, this character. Right. Uh, and so that one is definitely in my top three. Not only for that beer. It was a um, uh, Belgian, um, I think it was called a Belgian just heavy. It was like a 12% Belgian L. Nice. And it was so good. Uh, and then the, all the stories and stuff behind it. Those two are my favorite for sure. And then number three, maybe IPFNA. I, I don't know. When I first brewed that, that's where the name came from. Yeah. It's like, FNA is, this is so good. So, and we named it IPFNA. Mine are easy. Cannonball of Love. There you go. Oh, okay. And then Stubborn Cowboy. Okay. And then Eos. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah, that's a good beer and your face is on the can. Hey. <laughs> I did surprise her with that. And, yeah, she... I don't know. It was. She was like, neat. Yeah, neat. I will drink it. <laughs> uh, it's got like a cold brew in it, so it, ah, I love coffee. Yeah, and me too. I really do love that beer, and I'm just ready for it to get cold. So I. Yes, that's our winter <laughs> seasonal stout. It was Boreas, yeah. which was just an imperial stout. And then I brewed Eos, which is the set, you know same version but with cold brew coffee in it, and Eos quickly took over that cell. The sales skyrocketed on that. So we were like, okay, we well, you know which one to 86, and it was Boreas, and Boreas had my my face as like Aww. the, uh, and Boreas is uh, a Greek like god of the north wind. Mm-hmm. Can I say, is it over? I'm just trying to see if it was. I don't see it. Yeah, Eos is right there. Oh, Eos is, but I don't see Boreas. Yeah, Boreas isn't up there. <laughs> but, Jonathan's like, no. <laughs> so, anyways, I, I gladly gave her. Yeah, the, the and I like the stubborn cowboy because it has like a wine in it, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. and it's got a. I don't know. The flavor is so good. I still yeah, it's a French saison. It's an easy. I don't know how people are doing saisons. Yeah, French saison mm-hmm. with uh, blended with Merlot. Then it was juice, mm-hmm. uh, but fermented and turned into half. So it's a beer and wine hybrid. Merlots are one of those things that's starting to go down. Well, they started going down after sideways. I've been in the. I was in the wine industry. For oh, okay. Years, so oh, I just saw the section cool. getting smaller and smaller. I was like, what is, and they're like, oh, it's sideways, because he 
fucking ripped on Merlot for the entire movie. Yep. Oh, really? And then so everybody was like, oh, yeah, Merlot sucks. I was like, no, Merlot's actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> you can come up with your own opinion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, Moscato happened because of Drake, so whatever. That's, That's creepy. I've seen an eyeball. Oh, Kid eyeballs. Or, anyways. <laughs> Um, now, if someone has never had your beer before and they walked in here, what flight would you give them? Definitely start with Pantera Loco uh, or Tailgater for their first one. Then I would give them our flagship allergies. Mm-hmm. Then I would go up to a uh, darker one, Cannonball. And then I would probably give them an easier IPA than IPFNA and give them <laughs> Trick Rider which is our middle of the road 6% IPA. Uh, and then I may get weird with it. and not, not like weird, but like different. And give him a sour, maybe a barrel okay. aged. I didn't know um, if sweet thing would have been one of these. Oh, yeah. Or sweet, sweet thing. thing. But I mean, Instead it, of cannibal? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I think that. I mean, it, that kind of covers the spectrum of like light to to in the middle and then dark and... All that stuff. That's good. That's a good mix. <laughs> I can edit that part. <laughs> That's fine. We'll keep it in. What would you? What would you? What yeah. would your flight be? If I'm like trying to. Yeah. If nobody had ever been here before. I mean, you always have that question of what do you normally like, and then I go off of that too. So. It yeah. Depends. Yeah. Like I. Really if, like okay. What if they're headed? Headed to the stockyards. I love Bud Light. <laughs> Not anymore. I love Modelo. I love Coors Blank Banquet. Yeah. yeah. If they say Bud Light. Oh, yeah. Um, I would give them Tailgater. But then I would be... I would probably introduce road trip snacks. Because they probably mm. like a Shiner. They probably like anything like a, with a brown ale or yeah. any... Just yeah, it makes four, them. Four three, it's yeah. not hard to drink, but it makes them feel important because they're drinking a dark beer. Uh, and yeah. Like, see it's that. such an easy beer. And I think... People are proud of themselves when they try something new like that. <laughs> I'm setting them up for success. Yeah, they there you go. It. That's Does true. Does that make sense? Oh, no, that makes yeah, sense. Absolutely. Yeah. I worked behind the bar a lot, so <laughs> that's something that... Um, you guided people's journeys. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do yeah. encourage allergies just because it's... For sure. It's fantastic. And then I also... I don't know if I would do Hazy Cat or if I would do Celebrate. Again, mm. it just depends on who I'm talking to. Yeah, it really depends on who you're talking to. But yeah. And then I would end with like Cannonball or IPFN8. just depends on what they say, but I would yeah. end with that. A classic, Yeah. but... I think I would change I my Cannonball to Fort Worth Brunette. Because okay. that's a good, like... It's a, yeah. it's a bold American amber, but like people that like Shiner and stuff, they tend to like that one. True. So. Or Buffalo Biter, they call it Texas Yes, right exactly. Yeah. Texas Red. Yeah. I still wish they called it Buffalo Bob, but... <laughs> Did they not anymore no, at it's, all? it's Texas Red. It's Texas yeah. Red. I don't know if... Because I know Buffalo Butt was brewed for, like, a stockyards area. Mm. They may still have it down there. Oh, I didn't know. Which is I haven't thought about that to go check that out. Yeah. I'll have to go check. <clears throat> now, this was not to get you guys in any trouble, but top five favorite DFW brewers. In no order whatsoever, just five from Joe. Yep. Yeah. Uh, here, definitely Hot Fusion, mm-hmm. Pedicolis, Community. Can you go that way? <laughs> DFW? Yeah, DFW. So, like, I mean, edgewise? Edgewise. Well, so, I would say we'll kind of agree that maybe Weatherford is the most west, Rockwell obviously is most east, 903, Sherman somehow is mm-hmm. also part of North Texas, Oklahoma at some point will also be part of North Texas. <laughs> yeah. Wherever we go. Uh, we'll say Burleson, and then I imagine Waco will party in North Texas at some point as well. So, mm-hmm. you're, the Metroplex is not getting smaller; it's only getting bigger. So. Yeah. So Pedicolis, uh, Hop Fusion, Edgewise, Celestial. We did a beer with them, and they're just good people. They're good dudes. Yeah. They are good dude and league. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Three Nations. Three I nations like Three Nations. Really yeah, they're fantastic. Yeah. And, and they I also like have their, symbol inside as well. Yeah. I like yeah. their setup. Yeah, yeah. their location's great. And then the, <clears throat> there's someone else I'm missing. Sorry. There's at least 80 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's so many out there, but um, those, are, those are definitely our tops for sure. That's where we're going. We're out. Out and about. Yeah. 
Yep. And that's the other part that people outside of the Metroplex don't really understand is that if you don't live here, sometimes 40 minute drive for going to get some beer is a long drive because you better get some beer, you're going to have a couple, and then you're going to try to drive again afterwards. And if you're going to Sherman, I killed him on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, cough to get off, man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> good, good talk, brother. Uh, and then Sherman Jeez. is like over an hour away. So, you know. I love Jeremy in 903. Same. Yeah, I was up there, and it was the first time I've ever been. I was like, I can't believe it took Yeah, me Jeremy and Natalie are great. They're yeah. so nice. So, 903. <laughs> there we go. Number five. <laughs> Bam. Same for you? Turning point, too, yeah. I was oh, say yeah. That you, yeah. See, I knew we were, for, I know I'm forgetting. <clears throat> love turning point. Okay. All those people are, are great. Yeah, I really can't. <laughs> They're all escaping me. <laughs> I know there's another one that I can't think of. They're all great. We love them. All. They're all so, every yeah. single one of them. <laughs> now I have a segment I call it the five count, five random questions. Number one, what song do you car karaoke to? Ooh. Like a girl, Lizzo. That's a good one. Even, right. even with the issues going on. <clears throat> yeah. Have you? Okay. Um, I don't know anything. So. Oh. Oh. You don't know Sorry. what's going on with her. We can clue you in. Yeah. Maybe you make a banana beer. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Okay. Tell me. Yeah. <laughs> now I see what you're yeah. saying. Because she took her... Apparently her backup dancers, yeah. When they were in Europe, they took her to a, I think a strip club or one of the whatever. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember what it was. It was banana-themed. Yeah, I think strip. There was something other, bananas maybe in an orifice, and she made some of her dancers. A place where, other than your mouth. Yes. Uh-huh. I <clears throat> Okay. And then um, made her dancers do things with it. Made them? That's what they're saying. It's alleged. that, that's, that's allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. allegedly. And there's also some documentary in that it worked with Lizzo and she felt very gaslighted after oh, the film. But interesting. But I don't know. But Beyonce shout her out the other night, so it's, okay. Lizzo's in well, a good place because Beyonce, Beyonce and I, yeah, we usually have the same support system. Queen so. B, yeah. Uh, for, for me, right now, it's One Direction because wow, Which yeah, one? my daughter uh, has gotten me in that. Oh man, 18's really good. Okay, um, girl. still my girl. That beat is so <laughs> awesome. I, I, would, I like Harry Styles. Though. He's a fantastic. And Harry yeah. Styles. Yep. It's always in the heart. Yep. Uh, as it was, fantastic. And then we switched to Machine Gun Kelly for the, oh. the other kid. Yeah. Even though apparently he's in Bad Graces too. Yeah. Like, who, isn't really? who isn't it? Who isn't? Who is it? Can't yes. keep up. No. But yeah. So that's who I karaoke to. <laughs> An iPad died. Oh, no. Yes. Well, techno- once technology dies, everything <laughs> is in front of you. Now, if you were a pro wrestler or MMA fighter, what would your name be? <clears throat> pro wrestler name would be... Oh, my gosh. That's hard. That's really tough. I know. That's why I like to uh, just kind of throw it <laughs> <laughs> I want to say, uh, hmm. I want to throw people off. So maybe like, okay. I would be like, the sloth. <laughs> maybe like, oh, he's just really slow moving. <laughs> and then it, you'd get me in the maybe a cage match yeah. or something, and you would find out that I in fact am slow moving, <laughs> and maybe take pity upon me and go from there. You can go ahead and leave. So the, yeah, yeah, the sloth. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's my perfect. name. I love yeah. it. Um, what would your last meal be? A steak with a tomahawk steak, slow smoked, and then seared on the coals with a nice garden salad with deviled eggs and homemade ranch. Look at you. And then a baked potato with 15 pounds of butter, (laughs) 8 pounds of sour cream, and 18 pounds of bacon... It turns to soup. It turns to soup. Yeah. yeah. So that that would be my last meal. What was your last meal? Well, I guess we can go back a question. If oh, you yes, know. ask her. That. If you were a pro wrestler or MMA fighter, what would your name be? The Merminator. The Merminator. She's nailed it. She knew it. She I, had it. Yeah. It she wanted what, to be. Mm-hmm. What I was to be in the roller derby? Hey. My name. <laughs> yeah. It's, she would have been great too. I don't know why we didn't pursue that. We used to go to those 
the derby matches. And stuff. Dallas Devil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were so fun. Fort Worth had one too, didn't they? I, or no? I Maybe later on. Okay. I don't think they're. I don't. I have. I don't know much about it. Okay. Mermanator. Mermanator.